Hello and welcome to Cooking with Blorange. Today we will be doing a dish that is for more of the master chefs in the YouTube community. I was joking, this is going to be very simple. So what you're going to want to start with is a standard sized bag of popcorn. I got mine from the local grocery store. It's microwavable and it expires in one month. Now you're gonna wanna pop your popcorn for a minute and 45 seconds. At least that's what I always do. I found that it gives you the best even pop. Now, while that's cooking, you're gonna wanna go around your house and try to find the biggest block of chocolate that you can, or if you have chocolate melts, those work too, but more usually you're going to be able to find old Easter buns or chocolate Santas, and those work very well. I myself am going to be using the bottom of a chocolate frog that I was eating earlier. It works very well, and you will be given a new purpose. I know you're scared, buddy, but this is your destiny. Now you're gonna wanna cook your chocolate in small intervals, taking it out frequently to stir it. I'm only gonna do 10 seconds for now. Sometimes if your chocolate doesn't melt quite as fast as you'd like it to, you can put water on it to make it go a little faster. Now that our popcorn is done, you're gonna wanna get a normal sized popcorn bowl and pour it in. Be careful not to burn your fingers. Okay, I'm not joking, that is the only time I've ever caught food in my mouth, like thrown upwards. Okay, I think that our chocolate is fully melted. It may not be pretty now, but it, once you stir it a bit, it gets much prettier. And fair warning, this will be very hot, so use the mitts and stay safe. Sometimes if your chocolate isn't as smooth as you would want it to be, you can usually pour water on it to make it just a little bit smoother. Okay, once your chocolate has been fully stirred, you're ready to pour it on your popcorn. Now, this is going to be one of the most important things that you do whenever you're making this chocolate popcorn is the drizzle. You want it to be a light drizzle, but you also want it to be covering all of the popcorn kernels. Okay, now that that's done, you can stir it together. And after you finish stirring, your popcorn will be complete. Look at that, it's so yummy. And now you're done with your delicious chocolate popcorn. I hope you enjoyed and make sure to make your own popcorn. As you could tell, it's pretty easy. This is Orange signing off.